Cheese. Okay. All right. What is today's date, guys? Twenty six. We are sea bassing. These guys fished with me a couple of weeks ago, and uh, there, there's a. He's got a triple. He's got a double. Kendall here. She's got a couple on. He's got some on. They got them up on the bow. Nice sea bass, you know. Um, so. Oh, nice three. three right here. He's got three. That's a triple right there. Oh, let's see what Kendall's got here. I'm gonna bet. I'm gonna go out on a limb and bet that it's sea bass. <laughs> but um. The sea bass fishing since the season reopened, it's been kind of tough on the inshore at the Triangle Rex today. I mean, we're not in any kind of secret spot or anything like that. But uh, what's going on right now? Oh, Kendall Sea Bass. Two Wee. keeper. Oh, lost one. Well, she had two keepers, <laughs> but one's free now. <laughs> uh, what's going on since uh, in the last couple, two, three weeks since the season reopened is that two pound sea bass nice fish we have a we have the most of a box full here we probably got 60 in the box or something like that so we're gonna easily get our limit today um but anyway what's going on since uh there's a, he's got a nice two pound sea bass you know like nice half to measure you know that's it's always good when you don't have to measure them. Our minimum size in Virginia is 13 inches. We're allowed 15 fish per person. Um, our limit today is going to be 90 fish. So uh, we're getting after them here. Um, what's happened, it, let me let me get back to this, but what's happened in the last couple of weeks since, this, since everything's changed is that uh, when the season reopened in August, um, the... Uh, the, the southerly current was dominant and when it gets like that we get like a lot bluer water okay. this water's oh, look at that one there's another <laughs> nice one um this water is really like a green colored water this is the kind of water that you catch sea bass in. when the water gets kind of look what you've done here babe you got stuff going all over the place you can't do that um when this water gets uh gets green like this that's the stuff that you catch your sea bass in uh, when it gets blue a pretty summertime blue water um, that's when you got to go out you know 30 40 50 60 miles to go catch sea bass you just... um, but we've got this the water's changed around these fish are these fish haven't been here long and um, it's good to see them. Good to see them here. You know, this is what people like to catch on these full day inshore. They like to catch sea bass. They like to catch flounder. They like to catch trigger fish. Um, all of those are still around. We haven't really been messing with them today, but, uh, we'll, you know, maybe we'll get our sea bass limit and go do that. But, uh, yeah, there's a nice keeper there. It's pretty much, pretty much just drop down and catch a fish fishing right now. I mean, it's pretty easy fishing. But uh, anyways, guys, we're working on 12,000 subscribers right now. I um, appreciate y'all watching and subscribing, commenting, and booking trips. That's the important thing, you know. Um, I get to make videos because I'm fishing all the time. So, you know, whenever I'm fishing, I make a video and here we are and when y'all book me that's when i go fishing and that's when i make videos so thank you for booking me thanks for watching liking and subscribing i'd like to thank these guys here guys here for coming back fishing with me again second time in a couple of weeks that they fished with me these guys are from northern virginia really good group of guys they like to catch fish that they can eat and uh they are catching fish that they can eat but um Y'all have a great day. Thanks for watching. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. We're going to catch more sea bass. Maybe some spade fish. Maybe some cobias. I don't know what we're going to do for the rest of the day. Who knows? But we're going to get back to it. Y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching. Bye.